Hello and welcome to another devlog for my upcoming game. If you don't know, I'm working on a third person stealth game where you play as a ninja assassin and complete various missions. You could be sent on a mission to kill someone, or maybe you're sent on a mission to rescue an ally. It has been quite a while since I've made a devlog, although I'm now back. In this devlog, I'm going to go over the process of how I added some skins to my game that you can use to customise the player. I think the character customization system that I've added is final, although there's something I want your opinion on. So with all that said, let's get started. Everybody loves to be able to customise their character when playing a game. It helps you feel more connected, and it's fun to see your custom character appear in cutscenes. I was playing this other stealth game, Aragami, to get a feel for it, and on the main menu I saw that you had the option to customise your ninja. I thought this was a cool little touch. As at the time, in my game you only had the option to play as the ninja in his default uniform, so I decided in my game I'd give the player character some skins. So I got to work, and now on my main menu screen, there's the skins button, and if you click on it, it will show you all the skins in the game. I want to show you something. If you click the skins button, the camera will slowly zoom in, and you'll have a better view of the player character. I really like this, as it made the game look a bit more professional. You won't have access to all the skins in the game at once. You'll only have access to the first two, which will allow you to alter the appearance of the player character slightly. Then we have the three other skins. You're gonna have to unlock these, but first, let's quickly go through all of them and their designs. First up, we have the Fox Mask. This is a classic Japanese mask that I've seen all the time, so I thought it would be a good idea to add. I made it so that each mask matches the belts that the player character is currently wearing. Then we have my favourite mask, the Tengu mask. This is also a classic Japanese mask. I recently started watching Demon Slayer and I noticed a character was wearing this mask and I thought it looked really cool so I had to make sure to include it. Finally we have the Oni mask. Oni means demon in Japanese, hence why it kind of looks like a demon. And this is actually my least favourite of all of the masks. I had a problem with this mask as it was mainly red and I didn't want two costumes to have red belts. So for the Oni mask, I made the belts black when you put on this skin. Quick pause, make sure that you've added this game to your wish list if you're enjoying what you see. It really helps me out and I'd appreciate it. So these are all the skins in my game. Let me know which one is your favorite. Now let's go on how the player is gonna unlock these skins. The first way the player is gonna unlock the first skin is that they have to beat half the levels inside of my game. Then for the next skin, it's gonna be a bit harder to unlock. In my game, when you beat a mission, you'll be ranked on how well you did. Your ranking can go all the way from grade C, which is the lowest you can get, to grade S, which is the best possible rank. In order to unlock the next mask, you're going to have to get an S rank in let's say 3 of the levels. And for the final mask, I will either give this to you when you get an S rank on every single level, or when the player just beats the game. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, so now you kind of know how skins work in my game. This is currently the way I have it set up, although there's an alternative way I could do this. I could, instead of having skins which the player pre-selects, I could be this whole character customization screen where the player can control the color of what belts they want the ninja to be wearing, and there could be, say, let's say, 10 different masks which the player character could choose from. That way the player will be able to customize their ninja a lot more, and these would all be unlocked from the start. So, what way do you think is better? Either having pre-selected skins or we can have like a whole character customization screen. I'm now going to go over why I've not made a devlog in so long. Hopefully there is a helpful lesson for you if you're making a game. You want to make sure that you always have regular backups of your game. I'm not sure what happened but I was trying to add this like ladder climbing system to my game and it ended up like corrupting my project. Every time I opened it it would crash and I couldn't get it to work again. So I had to go back to an old version of my game, although I hadn't made a backup in so long that I was quite far behind. And then I kind of just like didn't want to work on my game for this reason. So I took like a long break. I've also added a lot of other things to my game, although I think we're going to have to save that for another devlog. In my next devlog, I think I'm going to increase the blood effects so it's more splashy when you kill someone. And I also want to add dismemberment. So when you get like a stealth kill, maybe you chop off an enemy's head or something. So you can look forward to that. That's all for this video, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.